This is a GB Pocket Plus, and today we're going to show you how to remove all of the textiles from the stroller in case you want to wash them or conduct small repairs. So we'll start with the canopy. If you look at the canopy, it's attached via essentially two parts. One is this larger peg system, and that's what's easier to take off. So if you turn it sideways and just pull it out, you can pop it like this. Now generally I'd recommend washing it with this on, as in order to remove this, uh, you can potentially cause damage to uh, to these parts. But there is a little slot here, and if you work a flathead screwdriver, you can work this kind of plastic catch off in order to remove the entire rib. But again, the entire rib is uh, pretty pliable. Uh, so okay, popping the other side off. Okay, now the uh, canopy is still attached to these frames via this stretchy business here. But you can actually pull this out and over the rest. It's like an elastic band, so you can just pull it over all of the rest of the mechanical connections. Like that. The last point at which the canopy is connected is just the button here in the middle. You're just going to pop off. Okay, canopy is removed, and I accidentally started my next part of the process, which is the seat that is uh, attached at top by these two little clips that you can just pop right off. And then on the sides, there are uh, buttons, so you just remove the seat from the buttons. It's like that, uh, that slit in the fabric type, old style buttons. Do that on both sides. Okay, then the seat is connected with two straps via these pop buttons here. Remember that they go around the metal bar when you're reattaching this, when you're reversing the process. Okay, then we get down to this lower part here. At this point, you can remove the top part of the seat. Just unzip it there. Turn it around, and you can just pull off the seat from these front struts. And then there's a little bit of Velcro. You're at this point going to want to detach the uh, central buckle so that you can pull it through the seat. There we go. And now the seat itself has been removed. Okay, so now if you want, you can wash these parts in the washing machine. Uh, note that the boards in the seat, they don't come out, so you just have to fold the seat down in order to put it in the washing machine. Uh, also note that although there is one Velcro patch uh, involved with the seat, the soft part of the Velcro is on the seat itself, so there's not really a uh, chance of it damaging the uh, canopy. This canopy is made of a material that can very easily be damaged, so if you want to be extra careful, you could wash them separately. Uh, but the, the problem will not occur via Velcro in any case. Um, we would recommend using 30 degrees in the washing machine and not putting it in a dryer afterwards, preferably not uh, using the centrifugal function uh, either, just because the uh, materials are quite weak, um, but it is okay to use it in a washing machine. 30 degrees, uh, usual load of soap as you would. Otherwise, uh, with relation to the rest of the textiles, so you have this baseboard here and uh, the buckle stuff, Unless this is really dirty or the shopping basket is really dirty, uh, it's not really necessary to put it in a washing machine. The reason for that being that you actually have to unscrew these elements from the chassis. That's not that hard if you have a problem with mildew or something and you simply need to treat these uh, in the washing machine. But uh, for regular washing purposes, it's better just to give them a wipe down, uh, wash them on the chassis itself. Uh, here you have screws here and here and underneath and uh, in relation to the shopping basket, the whole thing is screwed on.
to the chassis itself. So just give those a wipe unless absolutely necessary. In any case, that's how you remove the textiles from a GB pocket in order to wash them or conduct small sewing repairs. In order to put it all back together, you just reverse the process. We hope that this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.